Well, we were on our way to Blatzheim, Germany, and it's called the Cologne Plains, and it's very flat, and we were getting a lot of artillery fire from up ahead and on, the, on both sides, and uh, artillery fire didn't bother us too much, but uh, I was all I was buttoned and driving, and I was buttoned what we call buttoned up. The hatch was closed, but the tank commander had to set up. We never put, never closed the hatch in my tank, even before I became tank commander. And we're going down, and uh, for some reason. I couldn't see a large bomb crater. Bomb crater was as big as this two rooms, or bigger, wider. And my tank went in the bomb crater, and it started tilting over. And once the tank has stopped, especially where we're out in the open, like we were, we all we all bowed down. And got went back. Went back to the way we came, on foot, looking for cover. And the uh, Germans used to cover potatoes with mounds of dirt to to uh, storm. I guess they would call it. So for some reason, we all, uh, my crew and myself, and other people went behind this potato berm thinking it was cover. And then all of a sudden, one uh, an artillery shell came in. I guess it was like ground level or through the bound and exploded in the back where we were all laying there trying to take cover. And uh, I got a concussion holes in my helmet, and uh, I was knocked out for a, a certain time, I don't know how long. And when I woke up, I, I, I grabbed my tank commander by the shoulder, and I says, come on, Jupe, let's get out of here. And his head was taken right off, he lost his head, and I just turned up, got up, and. and started back to the aid station. And going back to the aid station, I don't know if you know what a, we used to call it a million dollar wound. When a guy would get wounded and he wasn't bad enough to to die or get lose, a, they figure they're going to, there's a million dollar wound, you're going to get back, go to the States, your fighting will be over. And my shoulder was hurting and burning all the time I'm walking back. But fortunately, I had the heavy tanker outfit on and all. And uh, I had a lot of uh, shrapnel in my shoulder. So they put this, uh, pulled the shrapnel out and dressed the wounds and sent me back to my outfit. And that's when they made me tank commander. What was the name, the full name of your tank commander? Ray, Ray Juleps. And can you give me any information on his background, where he was from? Uh, he was a southern boy. Uh, no, I can't. I can't remember where he was now. Can you tell me what, what type of leader he was? What type what type of tank commander? Well, he was like the rest of us. He had the same training we had and all. And uh, I have nothing, you know, we can't say anything bad about him. And, and he was fine. And how old do you think he was when he was killed? I guess he had to be in his mid-20s. Uh, I know he had a, a child that he never seen because he got married and before he came into the service. 
or after I was wounded and uh, patched up and sent back to the my outfit, I was assigned as a as a tank commander, and uh, I believe it was a the day following my wound. The next day, as we continued to, to advance on the city of Cologne, Germany, we were on Blasheim Plain, and uh, we were tanks were all lined up and were firing up ahead over over this hill, and uh, we all the tanks were all lined up. And we had a certain distance between these tanks. And all of a sudden, I get a command over the radio from my captain, who was beside me, that my tank was on fire. And uh, at the time, we kept our supplies and duffel bags and everything on the rear of the tank on top of the motor hatch. And with, the, with them being on fire, it wouldn't take long for it to reach the fuel tank or set the whole tank on fire. So I I jumped out of the tank, got on the behind the tank, in the midst of all the artillery coming in, and uh, the shell burst, and I continued throwing everything off the tank to put the fire out, and then I got back into the tank. And the next thing you know, my captain put me in for a Bronze Star because I really saved the tank. And what do you believe started the fire in the first place? Oh, well, the artillery, the shell fire, fragmentation around me and that close to me. Some shell, some fragmentations must have been over, went over my tank and landed on the back. Something started it. And the artillery fire is mostly HE.